Groovy. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're doing another video Q&A. If you want to be featured in a future episode, just shoot a video of yourself asking your question and then send me the link and I will put you in a future video. Anyway, today's question comes from Nick T. Wolf. Let's hear what he has to say. Hey Jim, Nick T. Wolf here. So I do have a question for you. Uh, in regards to actually kind of Japanese culture in regards to video games and other stuff because he do show all the statues um, in the shop, you know, well, most of the statues in the shops, talking about video games, all the manga um, that certain places have. First of all, has anyone, because of your love of video games, ever considered you to be an otaku? And the second part of this question actually comes from the fact that because we hear um, this variety of things attached to the otaku culture, whether it be anime, manga, manga, however you want to pronounce it, um, different nerd assessed things, um, has it ever outside of like what's going to be nerd or geek culture, has anything like that been considered to be otaku? I just questioned this because of a discussion I had with somebody. Thank you very much for your videos. I do greatly appreciate them. They are a great look um, inside different areas that some people may, may not be able to get to travel to. Thank you, sir. Okay, good question. Has anyone ever referred to me as an otaku? And uh, I guess just the straight answer to that is yes. Um, I do have uh, some Japanese friends that after having conversations with me, about video games, they have uh, said that I'm uh, kind of an otaku as it uh, applies to video games, at least. Um, I had initially thought that the word otaku was kind of like an umbrella term, kind of like how people use the words like nerd and geek uh, in the US and uh, in Europe as well to refer to people who who like any number of things. It could be like video games or comic books or or what have you. It's kind of an umbrella term. It applies to a lot of um, different interests. Um, as it turns out, I guess otaku can be applied to basically anyone who has kind of like an obsessive love for something. So by that definition, they would refer to me as a video game otaku because I have kind of an obsessive uh, mentality, an obsessive fandom when it comes to video games. And I have plenty of friends that have referred to themselves as being an otaku in some regard. And, um, you know, and uh, they're not, you know, overly like nerdy, geeky people, just average men and women who will, you know, say that they have kind of an obsessive uh, love and interest for things like video games. I have friends that will refer to themselves as game otakus. Um, I have friends that are obsessive about uh, anime and, and, and certain manga and things like that. Music, even. Uh, friends that are very obsessive about music that have um, admitted to being an otaku for a certain genre. Um, just as a, an example, uh, one friend of mine He's a guitarist. He's uh, a heavy metal uh, guitar player. He is deep, deep into the heavy metal scene here and internationally as well. He's just an overall, um, you know, huge lover of heavy metal. And so he's um, referred to himself as being something of like a metal otaku. Like, I guess um, in other countries, you might say like a metalhead, something like that. He's referred to himself as a metal otaku before. And he's also. Uh, a retro gamer. He and I talk a lot about retro games and we even go to uh, look for games uh, occasionally and he also has referred to himself and myself as game otakus so it can really apply to a lot of things and I guess that's also the answer to the second part of uh, Nick's question. Um, yeah, otaku can be um, really applied to uh, anyone that uh, really I guess pours a lot of their time and their energy into some aspect of entertainment or pop culture. In my case, it's the video games. In other people's case, it's it's anime, it's manga, it's comic books, it's 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 J-pop, it's figures. Um, I guess it's it's whatever you are an obsessive fan about. You are an otaku as it relates to that. So yeah, Nick, I've been called an otaku before and I've had friends that have referred to themselves as otaku and apparently 
Um, just about anyone can be an otaku. You can be a heavy metal guitarist. You can be an office worker. You can be you can be me. You can be you. You can be anybody, and the label of otaku can apply to you. Apparently. Uh, anyway, thank you, Nick, for your question. I really appreciate it. Again, if you want to be featured in a future episode, just shoot a video of yourself asking your question and send me the link. I will put you in there. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. I will see you next time. Goodbye.